I was asked five years ago to speak to 3,000 employees of a large grocery store chain, and they brought everybody. After I'd spoken, I always give my home phone number to every audience. I had a young man who called me, and he told me his name was Johnny, that he was a bagger in one of the stores, and he was a person of Down syndrome. He said, "Barbara, I liked what you said." And he said he went home that night and he asked his dad to help him with the computer. And he set the com said we set the computer up into three columns. And he said from that night on, every night that he goes home, he finds a thought for the day. And he said if I can't find what I like, I think one up. Then he and his dad type it six times on a page. He prints out 50 pages every single night, cuts them out, signs his name on the back. And the next day, for every person's groceries he bags, he puts a thought for the day in the bag. Now, about a month later, the store manager called me. He said, "Barbara, I want to tell you what happened this morning." He said, "When I went out on the floor about 9:30 this morning, the line at Johnny's checkout was three times longer than any other line." <laughs> He said, "I went ballistic. I was yelling, 'Get more people out there! Get more lanes open!'" And he said, "The customer said, 'No, no, we want to be in Johnny's Lane. We want the thought for the day.' So, who do you think is the most important person in that whole store?" He said, "One woman came up and said, 'I only used to shop once a week, but now I come in every time I go by because I want the thought for the day.'" <laughs> He said, three months later, the store manager called me back again, and he said, "Barbara, you and Johnny have transformed our store." He said, "Now in the floral department, when they have a broken off flower or an unused corsage, we used to just throw them away." He said, "Now they go out in the floor and they find an elderly woman or a little girl, and they pin it on them." He said, "One of our meat packers loves Snoopy, so we ordered 50,000 Snoopy stickers, and every time he packages a piece of meat, his meat gets a Snoopy sticker on it." Now I said I don't know about dog stickers on meat, <laughs> but he said we are having so much fun and our customers are having so much fun, and folks, that's a true leader. And if he can do it, there is no reason why every one of us in this room and out there in our audiences can't do it. Thank you. God bless. <laughs>